but they have been picking up their victories and even taking down Dignitas, uh, which is a full three-map affair in their recent battles. So let's see how they fare versus the Vitality Squad, whose CT side, Zywu included, has been impressive. It's the T side, which has left something to be desired. I'm interested to see what ends can put down here. This team has been for a roller coaster of emotions over the last year. Looking to find some success here on the streets of Mirage. That's a great start. Aerial will crack open a beat bonsai, but not very clean on the second. That's going to allow shocks and his boosted position in towards the fray now, but it's an A-sided attack. Sergei, he'll be getting this bomb planted. It looks like this is very good for Ents now. There's a kid in the smoke for shocks, but they're so far removed from the scenario right now. Looking very good for the Finns. Number advantage and that bomb ticking away. They've even got a flank they're working on with X7. He doesn't have to rush too much until they have the image of this retake. And you can see that Apex was desperately waiting for that flank to show up. But now RPK, if he gets a second, they're on. Oh. But Sergei taking one before the fall. Kit closing the gap now. Apex onto the site. Smoke is down. This is going to get difficult. And it is even more oh, difficult. Now they'll take it. Unless he can hit the most ridiculous. No, Shocks has got it. Defuse in the smoke. That's a tough and bitter pill to swallow. Goodness gracious me, that is a gut punch for Enz. They had to work so hard for that one as well. The tactic, Chad, it went perfectly. Yeah. Managed to get in towards B. The initial kill is there. Sure, the second would have been fantastic, but enough was done. Rotations were coming over. Bomb planted, and you'd think Enz at this stage, with the long rotations coming through, they should have the upper hand, but no, it's all shut down. The tank arrives on the scene of the crime. Two kills to his name, and Shock's now full defuse in the one versus one. Five seconds to stop it in a deep with the Glock in hand. Was never going to happen, so they're going to have to force by themselves here. It's actually a pretty promising one, considering yeah. we're down down to the one versus one. So two AKs, a Galil, Utility, and Deagles as well. This is like a full gun round. <laughs> it feels like one, doesn't it? Good grief. That's wild. This is uh, I know, a world I never thought I'd see 10 years ago, Chad. Just to, just to quickly look at the top left, ladies and gentlemen, they're playing retake B. Now, B executes are very common on uh, the T side. So you can see there with Russia's lovely new camera, that they are playing deep within the B bomb site. So fortunately right now for Vitality, the attack will be over towards A. That's where they have two players on the bomb site, two towards middle. Zywu is just clearing the top now, gets a bit of free information, and they could start hedging if they wanted. Smoke starts to rain in, and a response from the CTs is to smoke ramp themselves. A counter smoke of sorts, a second as well, blooming towards the palace. Somewhat of a double pump, though, because they are still committing. Out through the smoke, and that nade has already done great damage. Misuta with the MP9 swinging in was shocks. 3v3. Those pistols will be upgraded off the fallen comrades. 6 7. Happy to take the AK, and a smoke now. Will they be able to get across to the site? It doesn't look like it's going to be easy. Certainly doesn't. Apex will be there with the FAMAS RPK oh. rotating in. Found through the smoke there. Alu with the silenced M4 gives him the edge. Boosting up on Sandwich at this point as well, but spotted. Apex knows there's two players there now. And he's ready for it. 20, 20 seconds. seconds remain, and this is a big kill. He can't convert, though. Zywu, certainly capable of winning this one. Low HP in these last two remaining players as well. X7 covering as he plants the bomb. Alu waits towards Sandwich, and Zywu... She's looking for that opportunity. It never arrives in the first round for Enz. It's found in the second. So a forced buy back from Vitality required. But they only got $2,000. A very difficult position they find themselves in now. That was really good from Alu, right? He didn't really have to move once he got that sandwich position. He killed RPK, trying to enter onto that site there. And was able to take down the final member from the same position. So nice and easy stuff. And they will get themselves in a very good position here because, ooh, as I was about to say it, Vitality were saving. They've limped on in last minute with some pistols, a little bit of utility behind it. Let's see what they can do here. Masuta up close and personal with that deagle. There's definitely a gap in the side of that smoke. No one's interested just yet. They're doing the full AX egg again. At least the smokes aren't flying through. Shadow advantage, this could be the bait. They've seen one disappear, but they will be thorough. The flash was good, but it caught Mizuta and enables Enz to find not only two, but three, make it four. X7 as he continues to burst into the site, will add another double to the list and just a single P250. Very clean round here. Shots with $1,400 and only four HP, taking absolutely everything in his direction. Somehow only took one damage from that Molotov. It will be the Mac 10 to close things out. He would have been better off going down to the flames, to be honest with you. X7 gets $600 for that kill. So, the force by not successful in any capacity there. Vitality will be down to a full eco and it's X7. Who gets three kills in the round there. Fantastic work with the Mac 10. More of that required as we go into round number four. Nothing really can be purchased. Maybe
could be a flashbang on the CT side at the very top end. They go for a P250. It's tidy stuff from Antelli, right? It's been simple approaches. It just executes onto that yep. A bomb site. Like, bear in mind, though, that pistol strategy, it was spot on. They actually yeah. executed it perfectly. It was just the closing frags and a full defuse in the smoke that let them down. So, so far, so good on Mirage. They're actually looking like a much different team. Same smokes, same exec. I love that bug, isn't it? Just wild how that still exists. The gravity defying stickers. So they get their access to the A side, but in the smoke, that spray is doing it all. Sonny, he barely saw a single one of them, but he gets four kills just through the smoke. He can't believe his luck. You said his name, Alex. This was the map that he was probably the most well known for when he was on that mouse sports roster, right? And we always talk about Crims as the king of connected. Well, Sonny was always around the jungle and connected position as well, and he was very, very potent. So if he can have even half of that level of performance that he used to do on mouse sports, you get Alu, Sergey there hitting their shots Ooh. as well. We know that there is skill on the Ents roster. What kind of, uh, you know, put the majority of the public off was the lack of leadership. So now that they think they've fixed those woes, might have a chance to get back into this, but Shox is on the AWP. He is. I saw he didn't force by in the second round here, Chad. This has got to be a new adjustment. They didn't do this out of uh, a spawn or anything like that. He saved money to bring this AWP out. He had $1,400. He has used the AWP before, but it's always been underwhelming. Teams of Kenny S, he'd bring out a secondary AWP on the T side of Dust2, for example. Always found it a little bit problematic within his lineups, but once again, he goes down. There's no trade potential. It's an easy kill for Ents, and they're looking for a 4-1 star here. Very exposed position. It was extremely exposed, uh, you don't mind me saying, I'm Alex. desperately <laughs> trying not to be... <laughs> I know it was. And I feel like he, he he's put the pressure on himself. He wants to prove himself as an author yeah. in that particular play. Like, it's unnecessary, right? There's no reason to go for that. It's a very high-risk maneuver. So is this one, but a bit more required from RPK. He knows he has a poor kill back, and he'll do so in a very effective manner. Four on four. And we're looking towards a B bomb side for now. Ends. We'll have one smoke available. It's going to be more of a contact play here. Try and get a quick frag, then explode all over the site and see if you can catch rotating players. Ooh. There's the contact, and they're going to have to commit to this, but RPK looking strong as ever. He's dropped the bomb now, and with only 30 seconds remaining, it oh, looks like he's done boy. more than enough here. Beautiful stuff. It's an ace from the old boy here. He's still got it, and he picks up an AK-47 for his troubles. That is, I mean, the dream, especially if you're shocked just watching it from RPK's POV, as your mistake does not have any follow-up ramifications happy to convert the second four of them not having to rebuy as well that's the dream for the ct side to get a little more comfortable and so we'll be venturing into the sixth round of play at ak as well for shocks to take into the next nice treat for him now he got an ace right there and so i said before that in australia we called uh dinks binks well we called aces ttds team takedowns oh. that smoke missed thank you for following it wow we get uh, the answer to the question of where it goes. The answer was nowhere. I've seen teams throwing that successfully from spawn. It is designed so. to go where, like, the entrance to B-Apps, which is what that camera, I assume, is for Rush. Rush is pressing that button to help us communicate that. Thank you, Rushly. I'm boosting into middle. So who wants to contest this? Oh, and just straight through the smoke, Sunny Spray actually catches Apex. We're off to a flyer here. Yeah, this is setting up to be a very good game. It's actually good news, in my opinion, that Ents are winning. I don't want this to get blown out of the water. I don't want to see any 16 fives there. I want to see it be an exciting game. It ends to show us there's still a team worth talking about. Because to be honest, the last year, I haven't been convinced. Let's see what they can do now. Five versus two. Shots towards the window. Struck down by Sunny. That's going to be the round. They are looking much better. This is a different squad. Yeah, they're feeling quite comfortable, or at least they're looking that way. And I think that opening kill through the smoke, you, you can't get luckier than that, really. Obviously, he did get the lick of, of Zywu and then finished off Apex luckily through it. But you'll take those every day of the week. No one's going to be shying away from a freebie. And, well, Masuta now has to do his absolute best to hold on to this M4A4 because there is a very angry-looking Sergei in his own spawn now, waiting to see. There it is, simple as that, gets the kill and takes everything out of the hands of Vitality here. Now, Chad, Sergey is a name that was celebrated for yes. years when this team first started. He certainly has dropped off in notoriety, I think it's fair to say. Would Definitely you agree? so, yeah. So I was actually for a while there, this was probably a couple of months ago, taking a look at his stat lines ever since the change of in-game leadership okay. had come on in. Interesting. Uh, and they basically had dropped off a cliff. So the, the change of leadership over there, it wasn't overblown uh, by the public. Maybe some of the reactions as to the decision of getting rid of Alexi B. We don't know the full story. I don't think we ever will from both sides. 
But uh, the, the decision there, it hurt this team. And it had hurt this team for a long period of time because you're not familiar with the end storyline. They were built on fundamental Counter-Strike and hard work sticking together as a team. And then from out of nowhere, they just removed their in-game leader. And then things started to spiral well and truly out of control. Well, there we have it. A lovely monologue there from Chad Birch. That's exactly what I wanted. I baited you very well. <laughs> so it is going to be the eco from Vitality. I am getting a bit worried for them right now because we know their T sides aren't fantastic. We've cast them a scrimmy. few times. Their T sides are very scrimmy. Absolutely. The opposite of what we're seeing right now. Ents have a real solid hold on their T side at this point. They lost the pistol, bear in mind. And now back in the driving seat. First kill for Sergei. Seems clinical out there today. Aerial waiting for the reaction top and middle. And he'll be just dropping that smoke in towards the window. Just placing that down. Letting the team feel more comfortable to get some control. Double spray down for Sergei. No problem whatsoever. Five on two. Apex and Masuta. The latter, I haven't even said his name yet. I forgot he's on the server. We need to see him start delivering some numbers here. And the bomb will go down towards B. That's pretty much around, Alex. Can't do much more with this one. No, I'd respect love to, but I to can't. Henry for getting this far. Apex and Masuta make it just Masuta. Will be left to uh, hope to try and find a weapon. They'd have to find a frag first. What's the best thing you have bought while we've been marooned here in Cologne? Oh, I got some uh, parallel bars yesterday. Oh, they arrived? Yeah. They got there yesterday. What are they called? Parallettes. Parallettes. Uh, they're like. Uh, Oh, like little dip bars. Yeah, exactly. A little sure. on the floor, and then you can do calisthenics through them. Like Hopefully press ups is the plan. Get get myself back in shape. It's been a bit of uh, a two week <sighs> hiatus. I have definitely. I, I was saying this to you, Hank, before, but I'll share it with the world. I'm definitely feeling the quarantine chub. Yeah, I for now. I didn't want to say anything. I thought you guys were getting <laughs> fat. So yeah. I, mean, I, I wanted. I, I, I wanted for to say me, something. I'm just like I've got no real reason to do it right now because I can't even go outside. I'm pretty happy where I am. Before I had loads of motivation and ego to deal with. Yeah, you got to fuel the ego. Yeah, now I'm just like you know what. As long as I'm Thin, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. To maintain that. Sure. But for now, here we go. Is it a double offset? Shocks on the orb again, boys. Double orb setup is out, but Zaiwu to strike first. So, uh, uh, the French teams recently, we've got Amanek who's quite stubborn yeah, with doing the second well. orb, and now Shocks is stepping into the fray. All we right. I'm interested. Look, if they can make, if, if Zywa gets the Whoa. room to do this, it's fine. It's just when it's taking it away from Zywa that we start to get a little bit worried. Bloody hell, they were close. Oh, Apex even better. He actually manages to convert that frag onto Sunny. He was lingering in the connector smoke, but unfortunately for Sergei, it does mean that his potency is lost. Coming from Palace when there isn't a distraction up connector does become infinitely more difficult, but he's gonna give it a go. And that's the likely outcome. Zywu will collect his third frag X7 just with the AWP recovered from the corpse of Alu. He has 10k, right? So holding on to this AWP isn't the most important thing in the world. But what is us grabbing a couple of cheeky frags here on the way out the door? So with the AWP in hand, if X7 can convert anything just to keep this CT sided economy at bay, this would be good stuff. So there's a great start. Let's see if they offer themselves up. He's going to change over to the AK, the window smoke, picking up the bomb. I have an option for a few more here. <laughs> he made the steps, knows one's window, and oh, a one tap onto Zaiwu. Gorgeous. He said a couple of frags. Well, that's the couple. Let's see if he fancies three. They say it's company. Well, looks like Masuta was invited to the party as well. Five to three, and Vitality find their first in a while. I think they say three's a crowd. I've heard that. <laughs> Two's company, but I like what you did. Zaiwu will be showing us what he's made of the AWP there. AK-47's on the CT side. But can they maintain them? It hasn't been the best start for them for very early days. Ents will have plenty of money, as Chad described in the previous round. We'll see if there's a pace change at all. Two smokes towards middle. One in the window, one towards short. And Zaiwu managed to get three kills in this spot before. I don't think he'll find the same success this time. You can see Ents with a much more tentative approach now. Ooh. Shock's walking into that one, the double op set up. He, he seems to like put his pressure on himself to find the kill. I, secondary orpers, that is not the role. You're normally sitting back and picking up the shots that come to you, but Shock's twice now has been found in enemy territory and twice has been removed. Oh, Sonny, he's been heard, he's been tagged, he's been spotted. So up in window, he may stay. There we go, he thinks better of it. He would have been Molotov'd out of position any moment. So they've got away with this one. They've even found a frag. So that's Alu being taken down by Masuda's aggressive apps push. They know where he is now. Three in middle. Sergei to deal with A-Ramp and Halls. 
a minute left on the clock. This is still doable, fans. Yeah, absolutely. They're going to focus towards the connector position here. They're going to have Sonny in spot, ready to lead the charge, and Masuta and Zaiwu focusing their efforts towards the A ramp. So they're going to get full control of that position. Just want to have a stronghold on one part of the map here as the connector still has a problem. Zaiwu knows it. Starting to oh. reposition. He would have caught a glimpse of someone. It's Ariel very quickly taken down. Advantage returns for Vitality and Ents. They've only got 30 seconds to commit towards a site. Another Zaiwu frag finally shut down by Sergei. Now that bomb needs to go down. They don't have a smoke. That Molotov won't get them far. 18 seconds. And the CT rotate is coming in. It'll be confirmed by the X7 plant here. Masuta, he can't contest if he hits that shot. There was a chance. Instead, now an equalizer from Sergei. This is actually looking very good for Ents. A ding from Apex might lead to a kill, but X7, regardless, will take one down just before Apex finds him. Two versus one, and it looks like Apex has done enough there. He absolutely has. Nice work. Comes right down to the wire there, but Ents, they'll be giving this round up. Yeah, that one was a little bit weird, uh, from mainly from Masuta, and I think these are probably the young jitters. Obviously, you want to try and stop the T's from planting the bomb, but when you when you can't, when when your death is actually going to equal up the playing field and give them an option to get back into the round, just play to contain, right? At that point, they were on the bomb site. You knew that you had a ramp control, and from there, you would have been able to win the round out in a three-on-two situation, but it was a little bit more costly than it needed to be. So here's Zaiwu. Fantastic shots by him here to delay this connector push. He was the MVP to at least give them an opportunity. And then Apex coming on through with a nice one on two situation. But here we go again. Back out towards middle. Zaiwu, he's creeping around this time. Shock still has that AWP. And there he goes. So this is the man we were talking about, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. He can take over games. He really can. It's still a double orb set up for Vitality, but we've only seen one strike so far. RPK to defend the beat bombsai here. Drops the smoke, but it's self-preservation deployed, and it will be Ariel taking down Apex here, but RPK remains strong. <laughs> He'll flash them off, oh. have no problem. The Shocks will get his first kill with the AWP, and they've got themselves a four-on-one situation. Alu, though, certainly dangerous when he's been painted into a corner. RPK, though, doesn't have time for any of this nonsense. Gets himself another hat trick there and gets double digits. The first player to do so. Lovely work. Get out of B. He's the message RPK is sending. Absolutely. That's not bad at all, is it? I think the money has been wrecked as well. So we've got to tie things up at five to five. Ents, in terms of the loss bonus, are going to be at the third stage right now. You get $2,900 into the next round. And we'll be forcing what they can with the AK-47s here. Two B hits so far from Ents and an ace and a triple kill from RPK so far. Yeah, so, so the, the multi-kill's looking good. Very, very good. But the thing is, if you look at the stat lines right now, it's being uh, reported into us that Vitality are losing the opening duels two to eight, and the multi-kill's six to 10, but the scoreline is five, five. So interesting one is they go back to the A execute. No fakes, no silly business. It's too late middle and three up the ramp. Well, Masuta with a FAMAS in hand here, he might be tested. They're setting up for an A split. You can see two players towards connector. Flashbang's going over. Smoke's already deployed. A jumping shot there from Shoxy. Ambitious to say the very least. His teammate goes down. He is now isolated towards CT spawn as Apex desperately trying to find him here from the short position. He denies the plan. Where's the backup? Alu is supposed to be covering that spot, but still a three versus two. RPK, they know he plays towards B, but he's currently residing in spawn. And that should be it now. RPK will need at least two more kills to stand a chance. Yeah, it's not looking likely, but pushing in, and he's found it. Another chance oh. for RPK. This time, Alu's got tank-piercing rounds. He'll take the second frag of the round and pull home the sixth. Wow. Got a bit got a bit messy in the middle there. It Everything really was did. looking great from Ents. So those set pieces that they were doing within the first four or five rounds of the game were conditioning those A defenders to be expecting when they see all the grenades coming over the river. They hit, they're coming, they're coming. Well, you could see there, it wasn't. It was slow. They came through middle. Caught Masuta off guard as the smoke's faded. We're able to pick that one up, and we can even see the Mac 10s coming out now. So this one should be a bit of a quick one. Yeah, you're probably right there. Run boost towards middle just to make sure there's no multi frag potential on the CT side. They've got that one flashbang potentially. No, they are going for the mid swing, and it's keep the guns out, boys. There will be an end round here. This one won't snowball out of control, but a couple of kills found. It's about what they were worth. So gave with three. Last player's Apex finds a Deagle. Don't think of getting the 1D. Gets the kill eventually. And it's going to be Apex now with just 32 points of health. AK-47 
No chance of winning it, but maybe he can deny a bit of extra cash. X7 and Ariel will have MAC-10, so they might want to recover. As we have, in terms of loss bonus, only $1,900 for Vitality next round. So there will be a buy there. As you can see, $1,900 on top of the 3K they have. It just won't be perfect. Although Shock's can afford the double orb, which he has invested in every single opportunity so far. Yeah, and Zywu won't be able to. So I'll be curious to see how that one all unfolds. Apex holding on to this is very important. I would expect him to drop that AK-47 over, upgrade into another rifle here, and away we go. But uh, that's going to be seven on the board for Ents. Now, this was their map choice. Nuke is map number two. But these are good signs. They're doing stuff as a team. They're trading off of each other well. Their executes look rehearsed. And they're making the frags. That's the most important part here, as you will see Sergey as your impact player of round number 12. They're just going to discuss through the buy right here. So you can see Zara with 4,500 as he just dropped over a rifle, it seemed. He will get dropped the AWP. Shox has okay. got one as well. So it's still the double AWP setup. It seems like they're doing that thing. It's exactly what G2 do. It's like a new idea they've come up with, and they can't shy away from it. It has to be a double AWP, whatever happens at this point. I'm just, this is my concern with Shox coming into the team, that this sort of thing could start happening. But either way, Zywoo continues to impress. Great stuff here from Masuta as well. Five on three to kick things off. I always be finding those opening picks left, right, and center. Anywhere he goes. Absolutely. It, I, I'll, I'm going to push middle. I'm going to take a look. Palace. Every opening yeah, gambit. You don't necessarily oh. need the best setups when you've got Zywo on your team. He seems like he just takes matters into his own hands. You see, look at the top right. A kill is found. You listen much to what round. he wants to do. You go, yeah. okay, he's, I won't go there. He's definitely one of those AWPers that would kind of overcall the in game leader for sure. Right. If he says he wants to do something, I'll say, like, yeah, if you feel like you can get a kill that, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Go ahead. See what you're capable of. Uh, a lot of teams as well with star orpers like a simple, like a Zywoo, are set up with that, right? The in game leader will wait till the orper gets his spawn. If the orper feels comfortable taking that, it says going for it essentially. And the in game leader calls around that. One right. classic example of the opposite of that was Skadoodle in Cloud9, right? He had lacked that ability. It was always Sean that had to tell him what to do, and they were trying to make him a player where he could have that killer instinct right. and dictate what he wanted to do with the game. That's what separates oh. a good orper from a great one. And speaking, of which is an orb right now. Sergey, he'll be removed. Five on two. They are locked in towards B. If he got the flash assist, it could have been somewhat cool from the dead man's hand, but no. Instead, it will just be sunny. And uh, the bomb is within arm's reach. He's got the time to retrieve it, but I don't think he has a time to do anything else with it, unfortunately. Four players, all hearts still beating in the Vitality jerseys, and he's just looking to try and catch a couple more on the hunt. This is a lovely angle from Shox. He can just... Wow, great reaction time. Peppers away at Sunny with a shot through the wall. So that does equalize Vitality scoreline just a little bit. Masuta getting that second frag as well. Good to see him adding some more to the tally. But again, within the first five seconds, there was a double kill. Worth reiterating. That's so unlucky for Masuta, right? Well, I don't know if it's unlucky, but it, once he kills him, the flash goes yeah. off. And he has to drop on back there. But good flank. And now good stuff. As Vitality, they go up to six. There's a possibility for them to still win this half. Yeah, I think so. It was looking quite bleak out there. Remember, they were actually 5-2 down on their CT side, but they've put their nose to the grindstone here and actually looked like a very impressive unit. I don't ever call things, but I am just saying that with two rifles and these pistols, with all of that utility... Oh, oof, he just saw the he, arm. I think he did, yeah. Yes, he definitely did. He's probably going to drop his utility and try and play in front of it as well. Oh, he's got to line up for a one-way. Little rascal. That's a pot shot and a half. My, the call I was going to make is that this is a very losable round. Uh, Ents With could totally take this. set piece potential and double orbs, yes, absolutely. This is what the four spies with pistols are designed to do. You normally want a wall of smokes, a bombardment of flashbangs. If you get the bomb down, then you can start swarming the bomb site, getting things uncomfortable for the defense. And we'll see if that transpires. Uh, to counter that, you ideally need a, a rifle towards Shadow or the A ramp or Palace, which they have got. That's going to be Masuta. So a lot of pressure on him to defend this one. A perfect smoke. Just as throwing their smokes as well. They have to commit to this, really. Yeah, look at Sunny. Oh! <laughs> Gets out of the Molotov. Thank God. His smoke is integral. It's the only one they've got. Don't want to be losing that one. And he wouldn't have been prioritized over the Molotov either. Chance for Masuta to get caught out here. And that's Sunny gone. Another one found. They keep it level. Perhaps Sense have still got something to say about this, especially now that Shox has gone down. Oversteps the mark a bit. This is what it's all about. They wanted to find that pick. They have the man advancing and have recovered an M4 as well. Four versus three. 
22 seconds remaining to get that bomb planted as they wait for mistakes on the CT side. RPK to be challenged first, looking for the cross. He gets plenty of targets, so Sergey will best him here. It's a P250, does do swarm the bomb site, but Apex holds. And it will be 10 seconds remaining. It doesn't look like this is possible now. That confirms it, and it's a beautiful shot to close things out. Daiwu, he'll get the final kill, but it's Apex with three in total to get Vitality 7 on the board. Close, my goodness. That was the force buy, though, from Ent, so this one will be a little less stressful for the final round of the first half of the second series of our... What day is it, Chad? I think it's day 13. 13, 13 yeah. I was going to say. Yeah. Of ESL1 Road to Rio so far. It is a lot of games. It is a lot of Counter-Strike. There's uh, obviously a lot to cover. What do we have? Six different regions, 56 different teams. I was doing all the numbers at the start. I've forgotten the majority of them so far. But this is the limped on in by from Ents on the final round with a 2400 loss bonus to finish the half. It's just going to be an A set piece. The smoke's come out. The flashes to follow. Can they get anything done? He's just jumping for the info and he gets a lot of it. Will smoke himself off. That's interesting. He knows they won CT and well, they'll take it by force. Bomb down. This is kind of what they wanted in the round before. It is exactly true, but this time it's a four and four instead of the man advantage rent. So this shot has to connect with Sergey, but the flashbang is overwhelming. X7 pulls one back in. He's recovered the M4 as well, but still, it looks like such a great round for Vitality until that kill comes through. It's up to be down to Zywo at this point. X7, Jesus. two versus one. Flashbang comes over, has to find a quick kill here. They're gonna touch a bomb momentarily, but he still, he holds on. The mercenary, the squad now, looks like he's done enough, oh. and he absolutely has. It's a resounding- And thanks to X7 on the half, a brilliant 4K to secure the final round of that first half, gives Ents the edge coming into the second. Mirage is the first map of this series, and Vitality, thank God for Apex and RPK, because alongside with Zywo, they have done the majority of the fragging so far. Henry G and Sponge hanging out with me this evening. Yeah, RPK certainly shut down that B-bomb site, but now we're switching over to the terrorist forces. We have got him on 13 kills, Apex on 12, Zyro on 10, as they set up a bit of an A-fake here. You can see they've set up smokes towards jungle and the CT steps. However, the bomb, that's going elsewhere. That'll be towards B, so this is all a ruse. Uh -oh. Trying to pull a rotation over, but nothing as of yet, but X7... He will be making his way over, and Ariel is thinking about it as well. But here a footstep now. You know they've dropped in. He's calling for a bit of backup here, and here we go. First kill delivered by Ariel. That second, not going to be his. Close. Apex down to 38, and Alu looks like he's doing great work from short. And a long-range dink from Apex. Sorry, Bink. Nice work <laughs> onto that, but it won't be able to find any more. X7 doing the work, and now two versus four. It does look very difficult for Masuta, only more so. Now he's gone. Shocks with no armor and a, I mean, a flank. That's something, but it won't last long. As soon as he pulls the trigger, oh, never mind. He doesn't even get that chance. He's been spotted out by X7 in the tightest of angles. He finds another 17 to 7. The I, man's got a statement to make. I, I, yeah, I asked Sonny what X7's been doing while they've been playing with Jumpy. I guess he's been practicing because he had 17 kills to his name, right? He's leading the way for his team at this point. And that's not something that you would you would expect. That's not something that you'd look for, especially considering the circumstances around that camp at, at this point. Sergey should be your star. Sonny should be in there up in the top top two, top three. And then realistically, it should be Alu, right? That should be your core three in terms of fragging output. But X7 today, he's got something to say about it. Now, bear in mind, we talked about this vitality in the T-sides in general. From the eye test the last couple of weeks, it hasn't looked fantastic. It's looked scrappy. It's looked like it's loose, which is fine. If your all PRs are peaking, that's absolutely no problem. But I don't know. It's a little bit troublesome out there. I feel like Ents could have a strong grasp on the second half. And they find the 2-0, no problem. Nothing really to report there. But there are AK-47s available in the third. But... It will be compromised. Not finding a single kill there of the plant means they get the AK-47, a smoke and a flash at the very top. I know what you're saying in terms of the scrappy play. If Ents play like fundamental Counter-Strike, right? If, if they, you know, get down all their protocol nades, their Molotovs and smokes early, if they're flashing for each other, if they're not over peaking, if they're not getting caught in congested areas when the aggression's coming. Okay. Fast day I was gonna things. say, they, they should be able to deal with it. But if Zywoo can open like that, they're going to have some problems. Yeah, okay. Ariel got a very important duel there. Getting the trade does keep things level, but you're absolutely right. If Ents get all of that lockout, the scrappiness you'd expect to fall a little flat. Here's a scrappy duel for you. Sergei's pushed up ramp, and Apex is about to walk into the lion's den. They'll swing on this. So Sergei goes what? down. You'd expect the trade, and Ariel does get it, but at what cost? He's got his second kill, <laughs> and he's down to seven. You know what happened? 
They were going to swap guns because Ariel was already low, right? And the second he looked... As soon as he looked at Ariel to throw him the gun, the guy came out the ramp. That's a monitor punching moment right there. Well, two for masses remain. One minute on the clock. Two smokes of vitality here as Masuta will be joining his teammates in spawn. That's RPK with the bomb on his back. And they're going to smoke jungle and steps again. That's the top of steps right there. And we've got jungle set up as well. So flashbangs to be deployed, as we'll see. Alu just focusing from that window position, but it will be an A split, bomber day ramp, one towards Palace and connector. Ariel will tuck himself in. 30 seconds and they're the footsteps and here comes the final commitment for Vitality. Interesting that Alu spotted shocks and actually opted to drop down. He'll continue to apply pressure. That's perfect. RPK's Molly does finish off Ariel. And this is an important duel for Alu. He gets both of them. They're both down to 20 and 48, respectively. X7 to clutch again. Certainly doable. But the fan has not got the world's best penetration. Looking for a chance again. And just as he waits, he... Bides his time. The rotate's coming in from a suitor. It doesn't even matter. RPK's got this one under wraps. Another hat trick for RPK, boys. 16 and 14 there. That's going to be their first round in the second half and a pretty successful one as well. Henry, you know that RPK's into cars, right? Oh, I do. What car do you reckon he would drive on the road to Rio? Oh, a classic, uh, I don't know, Porsche 911. Okay, Vintage something like one, that. Like an old All school right. from the early 90s, I reckon. For some reason, I can see him behind like a, a Mustang or something. Yeah, you know? maybe a muscle car yeah. popper. Like five liter engine, V8, Revenant. cruising. Yeah, I can see that too. I reckon the Porsche. Uh, well, maybe we'll ask him. Maybe no. a Sherman. It could be, you never know. <laughs> Sherman <laughs> tanks, watch out for them. X7, however, has got a lot to deal with if he did look towards the top of middle. They all cowered in the smoke and he's got nothing to report. That's a scary place to be. I really, uh, I, I really don't envy the cat player in that situation right there, but Shock is going to get a. Jewel offered up, won't be converted. Sergei getting the better of that one, picking up an AK-47. Now that's just left the other four players of Vitality all around the middle area. They have a bit of utility. Apex is, well, you shoot him in the toe and he's gone. This one's going to be tough if they all go through connector together, Alex. Yeah, it they looks like they're going to be leaving Apex behind. They're walking through this smoke. Sneak should get more than one. He's flashed off. They're looking for the trade, but they haven't fired any additional bullets and Sunny gets away with another. Now the Vitality squad, they are just separate and low. Yeah, this doesn't look good at all. It's actually a four versus two in Alu. He's not going to miss those ones, I'm afraid, and he'll convert the second as well. No problem whatsoever. This is the pickup ends, and they're looking much more serviceable on the CT side. That has to be said here. Vitality have one round so far. We've already noted their T sides in general are lacking. And uh, you might see some signs of that now. I would say enter the favorites at this stage. In terms of what we've seen on the T side of that first half, they look like uh, a well-drilled team that sorted out their issues. And with the coach Twister behind them as well, I respect him a lot. He seems like he's always uh, in the right... Frame sense. of mind? Yeah, exactly. The right frame of mind for this team. He definitely sure. flustered or overwhelmed. He's player. a level-headed guy, right? Yeah. And I think that's important because there are a lot of youngsters in this end squad, Alu being the uh, the veteran of the team. And now I guess you could throw Sunny into that mix. But they're about to get met with a lot of frags. The run boost is good, but Sunny, his aim is even better. That gets to Alu wants a bite. He's going to grab a couple. And this one here should be done and dusted, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't even see what Apex is, uh, like how Apex died. He had an AK, he forced into that one. As the hero, he means he'll have to be operating on a Deagle armor, I suppose, for this one. Here's, Didn't make anything. Yeah, here's what I think that Vitality are doing, right? There's a bunch of ideas in games and stuff yeah. that they see and they take them and they want to try them themselves. But maybe the players don't have the same understanding of what's necessary uh, to get away with those kind of rounds. You can see they're going for another mixed buy scenario here. Two MAC-10s and a P250. Uh, I guess because they've got maximum loss, but it's not next round, actually. It's going to be the follower. So they need at least a plan out of this one to justify it. Sunny with oh, the MP9. Great call. We'll see this one. They have no idea. First They're kill for Sunny, but I don't think it's a second. It will be converted. And do they anticipate a second, though? I wouldn't for sure. This is actually quite smart, but the speculative shot suggests they might be aware of it somewhat. Smoke down by X7. He's got control from it all by Alu, who's got the AWP in the window position right now. So he can fall back. So they would have liked to go the clean kill and fallen out of there, but still, Sly is AK-47. He'll answer back. So that's kind of channeled them all towards A, and the CTs do seem to be preparing for that uh, event. They'll be pushing up middle, calling it clear, and then surely saying, batten down the hatches, Ariel, we're going to stack up on that A site. For now, Serg is just watching 
the palace position. He'll be jumping intermittently to get the info if anyone's walked out ramp silently. Smoke's over. We've seen these many times before. This has been working well for Ents. Let's see if Vitality's T side, A side, Smokes are going to get them equally as far. They've only got Mac 10s. It's worth reminding you. And ooh, interesting boosting over the smoke. It's not going to get him a shot, but it might have got him some info. Nothing spotted. Bomb is going down for sure here. Beautiful stuff for these Mac 10s. And it's going to be bolting oh, over. Doesn't lead to a kill. Some way, somehow, Sergey lives to tell the tale here. He might have another one as he takes Masuta down at 20. Alu converts it. And now they have the man advantage and then some. Four versus two, but not for long. Zywu will find his second of the round here. It's very tense. No utility remaining on either side. And no armor or life for oh, RPK. But ace. it looks like Zywu is on for the ace here. Can he close it out? He absolutely can. A show stopping performance from Zywu there. Just what you've come to expect from this young man as he sets himself another ace at this point, Chad. That's a classic team takedown there, Henry. You don't see them every day of the week, mate. TTD. No, 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 I thought I would have got a few more giggles. <laughs> I thought I would have got a few more giggles <laughs> no, there, but boys. I mean, this, a few more giggles. The first shot he got I was still Alu. catching myself. Oh, okay. So he started it so well. These are lovely set of frags that he goes from one frag to four in the last 10 seconds of the round. That's Zywu pulling home the ninth for Vitality. And now let's see if they can string together anything constructive. Looking poor to start it off. A fully flash Shox does go down. How many uh, opening deaths has Shox got at this point in time? Jets? Shox has got himself 0 6 right now. <laughs> Wow. That's a good call. I didn't, I didn't even notice look at it. that. Yeah, that's a great call, Alex, because he has, with his orb situation as well, yep. I don't know, Shox's his career is a stranger. I think he still thinks he's living a few years ago where he is a star player. Seems like he's taking way too many jewels. Speaking of which, we have got another one taking place right now. Multiple kills found for Ents as they look for a five on two victory here. So I won't RPK remain, and you have to make sure you take them seriously oh. for these sort of reasons. <laughs> And RPK keeps it interesting, but 13 to 9 rings through and Vitality, their money is broken. My God, this game is starting to warm up. It's been the most exciting half we've had all week. So when teams don't play percentage Counter-Strike, the games are nuts, right? Yeah. Because they're not just like, they don't have wide spacing. They're, what, what we would see in some of these other games is, oh yeah, we know he's sandwiched. We don't actually have to face him. He has yeah. to face us. And oh, then you see him bomb. walk into a line and then suddenly three people shoot him at once. Yeah. Less exciting. Yeah. But that right there is let's take him <laughs> as quick as we can and let's all swarm him. And look, I'm having more fun, so keep it up. I'm so down for it. I agree, Chad. This is a breath of fresh air as Alu. He'll continue the fast-paced counter-strike here, opening things up with a clean orb shot. But Zywu, he'll show us that he's still ready to fight here. Misuta, left of the clock. The excitement tones down for just a second here. A chance to catch our breath as Vitality are on the ropes now. 14 to 9. Ents have got an open runway to this first map success in the best of three. And Nuke, sure it's a pick of Vitality, but I have to say that T-side chat, that's really where I notice some of their flaws and weaknesses within this Vitality squad. It, their T-side on Nuke was uh, very difficult to watch at times. Yeah, and I think that the reason I want to use the word scrimmy is because they have obviously flashes and nades and they know what strategy that they're going for but a lot of their rounds that are more fast paced actually are 50 50s it's a coin toss do we beat them there will they be blind do we have the correct timing are they aware of this setup it's not the methodical counter-strike that we've been seeing uh, out of a lot of the top contenders at this point very slow stuff but Vitality, they make it exciting at least. And uh, look, we can't say that for all the big names out there at the moment. Well, they certainly aren't always playing the percentages, which is, uh, you know, what we often attributed to Astralis on their rise to power, is uh, analyzing the percentage of that uh, situation. And then that's usually in the part and parcel of the saving. Of course, the economy management oh, that they we love saw a good save, don't they? Astralis do. We haven't seen much of that here. Lots of just straight body bagging. Well, we have got X7. He has impressed us in the first half, but he's got his work cut out for him in round number 24. MP9 only. RPK on the other side, who's on an absolute tear right now with 20 kills. Oh, what a great hit, though. That actually lands in his pocket. Turn it off, Green. Give us give us yeah, a pure on. round, Green. Let's come on, it. mate. One pure round for the fans, for the OGs. Right. Well, that Molotov looked like it was coming from Van. I'm going to be focusing my oh, attention there. Yeah, that's actually a very nice observation. You can see there's no real way Masuta, unless you run through the flames, can find this one. Bomb Regardless, so the bomb's been dropped. All of their efforts towards V are in vain because now they're left in another four versus two bomb in a nightmare of a spot, and it's under CT remit right now. Shocks with no grenades, trying to avoid map point. He knows there's a chance Alex is watching the bomb, which he is. They can grab it, though. I'm pretty confident they can knife out grab that, but oof, maybe not with this angle. Yeah, look at Sunny's position as well. He's so set to swing. 
Oh, oh. not caught by Alu though, and so Masuta, bomb retrieval. He's got that far. It will have disappeared. The CTs will be like, where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, Sergey traps. will be saying nowhere. <laughs> he's got he's the flank. Screwed. They don't have to go anywhere. He is, I think, for lack of a better word. Yep, screwed. Sergey's the one to do the screwing. And that's 15 for Ents. So your fears of Vitality's T-side woes, they do seem to uh, ring true. Lots of things have been dispelled for me here, though, coming into this game for Ents, right? I was worried how X7 was going to slot on in, if he was going to be able to find that same impact, if they were now becoming reliant on Yampi in the double AWP situation. But no, he is standing tall. He's won some clutches for this team right here. He's looking good. And if you just have a look at everybody on this Ents team, they seem to be fragging, right? Ariel has the least with 15 to his name. A rush here, boys. are trying to close things out. A bang and Sergey, he could be the one to do it. It's the Galil to lead the charge. And a flashback as a team flash. Sonny completely wrecked Sergey there. You can see no assist from Masuta <laughs> as it will be an opening kill now for the French. It's Sonny and Alu chiming in, looking to close things out convincingly. It'll be a great map to pick up here. A 69 scoreline as well against one of the world's best players who's in great form. And there it is. Ends pick up the.